Hi, my name is Jade and you're watching Charlie Beach. Thank you. Hi everyone, today is July the 21st, also known as Barbieheimer. I am become death, destroyer of worlds. You might be able to tell by my very suave 1940s uh, film noir detective outfit that I'm clearly here to watch uh, Ryan, no I'm not, I'm here to watch uh, Killian Murphy play Robert J. Oppenheimer and the Encel version of his speech, I have bad breath, destroyer of girls. Now film that police car and say you're not a tram. You're not a tram. Okay, it's the scene of the big uh, Paris style riot. Three arrests, many injuries, a few eggs, and a close protection officer holding back the horde of orcs from killing the policeman. And the pur pur what's purple hair saying to this cop here? No, the answer is no. Okay, good morning everybody, welcome back to Manchester. We're in Piccadilly Gardens, uh, right next to the bus stop. Here's Cracky Gardens, and uh, the reason I've started filming here is uh, I walk through, there's currently two homeless people sleeping just up ahead here. And uh, this guy here begging for a cigarette. And uh, he tried to high five the daughter. The daughter was terrified. But it's just a lot of vagrancy. And uh, I walked through and the incredible stench of urine and human bodily functions, because it is raining today and there's a big puddle of urine over there between the two sleeping men. And Manchester City Council, they may feel that they're being kind by allowing these mostly men, and a lot of women, but mostly men, to slowly commit suicide on the streets. They are so liberal to the point that they dehumanize the homeless and allow them to kill themselves, slowly. And it's very sad. And it's a very, there is a very simple solution, and it begins with us not allowing our fellow human beings to fall into such a state. And when they fall into such a state, and they're unable to help themselves come out, we need to physically remove them and uh, treat them medically, psychologically. You know what I saw with my own eyes. And, and ask any Palestinian, give them a voice. Palestine. Away. They'll tell you a million stories about when they were murdered and attacked with these weapons. With these All right, it's heavy rain, so we're under the covered bit on Market Street in Manchester. The Magnum people are here giving out free ice creams. It's a bit cold, it's about 14 degrees Celsius. We, uh, we're here wrapped in our duvets, drinking coffee, watching the heat wave in America and in Southern Europe, where it's like 45 degrees Celsius. I think in Nevada, it got up to 51 degrees Celsius. And uh, here we're handing out ice creams in the rain. Oh, I'm just checking my camera, you, you okay? Yeah, you missed the fight. Oh no, I've, my friends have all sent me the clips, so I got a good compilation. Thank you. And we turn around, you've got the hands off Cuba, the communists. And uh, how apt, I watched a film yesterday called Oppenheimer. You may have heard of it, you may have seen an advert or two. Um, I thought it was about the atomic bomb, but it was actually about communism. And if you watch it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, it is actually about communism. Free, 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 all right, a little bit further down, you've got Socialist Appeal. Yeah, beardy guys warning the lady against me. Let's have a closer look. Hello guys, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm not too bad. Good stuff. How's the spread of communism going today? It's going good. Thank going good, good man. At least you got the right beard for it, anyway. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So we're just walking through the Arndale, escaping the rain. Um, my friend Kaya, who's uh, well, he's a trained bodyguard, uh, close protection officer. He just showed me a video that someone took of him defending a policeman who was getting lynched. I might say people are like, oh come on, Charlie, he wasn't, but he was. And uh, I'll tell you what happened. There's two rival gang members fighting outside McDonald's. Of course, outside McDonald's. Policeman on his own comes and breaks up the fight. The urban youth then turn on the policeman. They smash him up, smash his radio. He can't. Hello, guys. Good morning. You're right. Good morning. He, they, he can't call for backup. 
So the close protect, thank God, hey. Praise be to God for the close protection officer, my friend Kaya, being there. And uh, he literally saved the cop's life. And uh, who would have thought that by the end of July, the Paris suburbs would come to Manchester. Red flashing lights, I guess not as serious as blue flashing lights. Wait a minute, wait, he's, tur he's turning around? He's gonna turn around? Is he gonna follow the Palestinians? Well, the Arndale has a leaky all-seeing eye ceiling. I guess the eye can't see the, the leaks, but slip stop is here. And I don't know if you can see the, the wetness, but uh, it's not the only one, there's a few. The holy trinity of the slip hazard drippy, drippy collection points, collection buckets. Brand new Toyota Corolla Hybrids, 23 reg. And uh, we are trailing the GMP as they trail the PLO, the Palestine Liberation Organization. Yasser Arafat. Was he, was he poisoned by the Israelis or did he just die of old age? I don't know. Fucking hell, it's the VLC media player. My favorite media player, you all right, guys? The fucking VLC, look. We're just saying about you. You all right, guys? Yeah, I love the cone. Of course you can, yeah, yeah. This is the slowest not a tram I've ever filmed. Here we are, bo boarding point. More like boring point. Okay, now we're down Market Street. We've passed Barclays, passed Greggs. We are passing nationwide. There's some supporters giving the... Oh, I'm gonna move your umbrella, bro. There's a hater putting an umbrella in front of me. A BBC Radio 2 umbrella, vintage BBC Radio 2 umbrella. They're all about controlling. I hadn't even said anything negative, but they are about controlling the narrative. Controlling the images. Crime. Whoa, dude, you know don't get too close to me, dude. He's pushing me. He's pushing me. He pushed me. That's the physical assault. He is harassing me. He physically, that was the physical assault. That um, was a threat. I'm 71 years old. This man is just a joke me. Anyway, good work by GMP. You harass pensioners. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, we are now near the bottom of Market Street. The Palestinian uh, support group, PLO. They're getting more thumbs up, more uh, victory signs from people they pass. Now, uh, I'm going to change the settings here. Keen-eyed viewers may recognize the policeman as the one that uh, spoke to Samuel after the Cottagers Cove incident, where I stumbled across a very strange scene. That is the policeman, and he's quite a nice guy. Bumped into him in Charlton, had a chat. He's pretty normal. Anyway, back to the protest. What a shock to find that people in uniform are human beings as well, and they make mistakes. But anyway. Here we go, the communists, communists are loving it. Uh, more cinematography at the bottom of Market Street, crossing with Corporation Street. They're saying something about some Israeli arms company based in, uh, based here in Greater Manchester, somewhere. There's a tram held up, tram's held up. There's a guy here sorting the traffic out. Okay, it's, it's, all, it's all back to flowy again. The laxatives have worked. And the feces is exiting the chamber. And here we go, that's it. He's, 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 he's opened it all up. Get buddy moving. That tram needs to go to the tram stop. Shut up and down! Shut up and down! Shut up and 
Elbit, that's the arms manufacturer. Let's see, is Umbrella Boy gonna get sensory again? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I said, hey, 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 hey. What is going on? I don't know. Why are there loads of cops outside the magistrate's court? I thought the criminals were meant to be in the court. All right, here we go. Well, after the arrest, they've not got far to go. It's straight to court, straight in front of the ma- Hey guys, you're right. Oh right? good, straight in front of the magistrates and, and Bob's your uncle. Thank you. I'm joining the real man with the great haircuts. Good man. Um, uh, can I ask, has someone been arrested here outside the court? They have, mate, but he handed himself in. Good man, what an honorable criminal. Anyway, all the best to you guys, all the best. See it. See it. Yeah, um, what's interesting here is uh, the proximity with the magistrate's court. I'm going to show you guys. We're, we're, lit we're literally here. And if we get one last shot of the cops, you see them over there. And here's the... <laughs> the magistrate for the magicians. Magistratutum. Oh, it's a Saturday. How could I have forgotten? Hello, professor. Are you graduating today? Looking good. I like the gown. What's with all the seagulls? It feels like bloody Liverpool. Okay. Hey, Fi, how are you, bro? So, uh, a free white chocolate and mango magnum ice cream. It's pretty good. But I have to admit, I'm a bit of a bad consumer. That once I've had something for free, I'm very unlikely to ever pay for it. So you may see the man in the blue jacket from a fake charity called um, Inside Success. They've been fined a thousand pounds by the fundraising regulator for aggressive tactics. They pretend to be a charity. Although if you ask them directly, they'll deny being a charity, but they pretend to be a charity. They want donations, money, cash, uh, credit card details. And apparently it's meant to, uh, apparently it's meant to, uh... hello boys, how are you? You all right? You all right, all good guys, take care. Right, so anyway, um, they, 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 they scam. Oh, they got, they, got, they got one here. Oh shit, they paid. God damn it. Yep, Market Street, free Islamic literature. Can't argue with the guy. I know him, Ibrahim. Big Chad Moroccan Berber pirate. No, he's not a pirate, he's a Muslim. But the Barbary Coast was known for the uh, kidnap of uh, white Europeans to sell to the Sultan. But uh, so yeah, my theory, my ongoing anthropological theory is that the entire Mediterranean, all the way from Israel to Tunisia, to Morocco, to Gibraltar, to Corsica, to Greece, to Turkey, to Lebanon, to Syria. Just imagine the trade and uh, the genetic mixing of all the different uh, Mediterranean groups. We all ended up and I come from Mediterranean blood on the mother's side. We all ended up with olive skin and uh, epic Roman and uh, ancient Greek <laughs> DNA, allegedly, something like that. Anyway, um, where was I? Yeah, people in blue scamming people, pretending to be a charity, that's what I was doing. Now that is quite wholesome. When you're buying new trainers and cheap clothing and TK Maxx and uh, you gotta pray. You gotta put down the consumerism and you gotta think about God and uh, all the good stuff in life. There you go. Look at that. Maybe we should all stop and pray. <laughs> I've got some bad news. Crutchy, aka Turbo, aka Tony. Crutchy is back in jail. Hello, mate. How are you? Quite a photogenic shot I've got here. Is that Azerbaijan? Well done. Well done. Hey! I passed geography in school, good man. Anyway, Slava Ukraini. Back in uh, Exchange Square with the big uh, huts. Light man, what's light man up to? He's doing the light. He's seen the light, literally. 
You've got ice cream man, crepe man, you've got bar man. You've got outdoor seating area. Pretend you're not in the middle of Manchester urban area, man. <laughs> it's the most wholesome outfit in Manchester. Hello! It's the most wholesome outfit in Manchester. It's a silent disco. Today they're going to be listening to uh, to um, shank him, shank him in the backside by uh, UK drill rapper um, Tyrone Stabby Stabo. Okay, we're at the View 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 Cinema in the Print Works, and what they've installed in the Print Works for, well, for the Print Works. First of all, Barbie Heimer continues. You're going to see a lot of people wearing pink, a lot of people dressed in suits for Barbie Heimer, but. More interestingly, Europe's largest LED TV screen has been installed here in the Printworks. And when they switch it on, we're going to reach levels of cringe and tackiness not seen since Las Vegas in 1987. When uh, the, the cringe incident of uh, North Las Vegas in 1987, do not look it up in Wikipedia. Uh, this roof will be as cringy as that. Did I say roof? I, I meant ceiling. It's a fucking cavern in here. It's a bit big. Oh my. Oh my god, the bar is called Basic Ballers. Basic Ballers. Hi, Charlie. Hello mate, how are you? Thank you very much. Can't believe the Hard Rock Cafe is still a, a thing. Like in Basic Ballers inside the, uh, the cerveza start flowing early here at Floripa Grill. Damn it. Donatello, I think. Leonardo, the leader, I think. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I don't want to be in your own. Oh, no, you're fine. Thank you. And red is Raphael. Oh, it says R on his belt buckle. And the last one that I couldn't be bothered must be Michael Angelo. And these lads are on the pub crawl. East Didsbury, is it? Pink line? Nice. <laughs> so, the most wholesome thing, the silent disco. Sing it to me. Not yet. They can't hear a word I say. It's amazing. Here's the alpha, here's the ringleader. And here's his flock. There's nothing like having your sin forgiven by God. And that's just fact. There's Barbie movie, is it worth watching? Good movie? Yeah. yeah. Out of 10, what score out of 10? 10. 10 out of 10. The girls give Barbie a 10 out of 10. Thank you. Hi, my name is Not Allowed. And what are you watching, Not Allowed? Not Allowed. Not Allowed. Thank Stay you very tuned. much. All the best, mate. Have Cheers. One, Thank you. Shout out to Janaid, shout out to Abed, and shout out to Danny. Thank you very much. Thank you. Because you have four things that are disgusting. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. You wake up in the morning, you think about sitting in a certain way, and God doesn't think like that. He's different to you and me. Why? Why do you not know? So listen, it may be. <laughs> you can read it. And you can even ultimately forgive it. So that does save people from all different paths. What does saving mean? Does that mean I have to be able to be a man? Well, well, be the man? Well, all I know is this is that God saves us to himself. So God obviously made us in certain ways and we would revert back to those ways if needed, if that is the if that is the case. But he's not gonna just leave you to do it yourself. Actually the Bible says he's slow to anger. And when you think about it, I just give you a Oh my god, it's Ren from Ren and Stimpy. I love it. Look at that. <laughs> if you look closely, some of these pigeons have bread tucked under their wings. <laughs> Bloody hell. Anyway, at least it's whole meal for these greasy sewer pigeons. I love them, really. I raised one in uh, Oldgate East in, uh, in central London, zone one, when I was living there. 800 quid I paid for my room in a three-bedroom flat, and I found one of these little sewer boys. Fell out of his nest. I raised him. He perched on my shoulder like a parrot. And then, oh, there's two of them now with bread under their wings. It's obviously the new look 
for the summer, summer of 2023. That incredible moment when the cars in Manchester literally cannot stop being trams. Look at that, he's even following the, uh, the lines. Manchester Airport, eh? Hello, my name is Zane. Hello, my name is Zane. And I'm watching the Charlie Beat Show. Please. Thanks, Zane. And what's your name? My name's Hamza. And I'm watching the Charlie Beat Show. Thanks, Hamza. God bless you guys. Thank you. Okay, we're back with Sonny. Sonny, the passionate preacher. I wish I believed like he believes. That's a great question he's got there. Uh, well, well, it, it, Two seconds, brother. Two seconds. Thank you, brother. But, you know, just, just check this out a sec, though. Um, How's it going? How's it going? How's the is preacher doing? Is he doing well? Do you know what? I understand his, uh, the analogy that he's using. Yeah? He, he, he used the analogy of the tram being in the way of someone and warning about the tram. And I do understand where he's coming from. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think the origin of these ideas, are, I'm not a religious person. Yeah, yeah. But the origin of these ideas, it's like, where did it come from? It just doesn't really... So yeah. The reason why the analogy makes sense, but the, the, the analogy of the analogy doesn't make sense if that makes it makes sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Ever, ever since I don't know. It's a recursive, uh, self-referential yeah. infinity of infinities yeah. that you don't know how it yeah. begins, how it ends. And uh, you make I, I admire his passion. Yeah. But sometimes you know, I mean, when I see, I hear a lot of the dogma, no, no, I wonder no. why don't we all just connect at the source, yeah. cut out the middleman, yeah. go straight to God, yeah. smoke a bit of a um, cigarette, um, <laughs> eat some uh, champignon mushrooms, yeah. put a bit of Bob Marley on, <laughs> and it's all good. But thank you, anyway. Cheers. Making us as men or women. He, 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 he would have meant it. I mean, now listen, I'm not saying that there might be some confusion in the mind of times and there might be certain desires and it's not in line with God. But, but in reality, we know that God, you know, makes men and he, he makes women. And uh, obviously, every single person that end up in heaven are going to be their intended natures. There was like, you know, you know the Bible? Have you ever read? Well... The uh, don't stop in the in the yellow box has been truly foobarred. Oh, that's all right. Just block the traffic. It's okay. Fuck it. You can't park there, sir. You have to go to the Hong Kong. Excuse me, can you go to Hong Hong? Oh mate, hello Hong Hong. Come on. Oh, give us a honk, everyone likes a fire, man. Oh, the lights, thank you. Oh, thanks guys, appreciate it. What the hell is even that? Oh, it's some bald guy. But anyway, the ritual of karma. Hello, yes, it is Charlie Beach, oh my lord. Hi. Oh God. Um, anyway, um, the ritual of karma, you do bad thing, universe uh, folds over in itself and uh, does bad thing to you. Yeah, on Deansgate the traffic is Fubar Bundy. Fubar is fucked up beyond all recognition. And Bundy stands for, but unfortunately not dead yet. It's a paramedic term, look it up. Fubar Bundy. The patient is fucked up beyond all recognition, but unfortunately not dead yet. Paramedics like to uh, have a bit of gallows humor about road traffic accidents. Anyway, um, today is a day of heavy traffic. Not even Tesla boy with his 23 reg. This looks like a bubble. Not even bubble Tesla can handle this one. Something bad is happening around here. What's happening? Oh, look. Yeah, lovely. Right. So, what have we got? We've got the junction of uh, Key Street, Castle Street, and Deansgate. Tesla boy, he's coming up the front on the right. I better get out of the bus lane. A lot of right turners. It's uh, gridlocked to the right. It is gridlocked up ahead. And, uh, yeah, up, uh, sorry, not Castle Street, Peter Street. Gridlock, Deansgate. Gridlock, Key Street, Griddy. Okay guys, uh, you think, oh, the traffic's moving now. I I'm uh, sorry to tell you, no, it's not. Uh, we're going up Peter Street towards the library and the town hall. 
I want to see the junction of Peter Street and uh, Oxford Street. I reckon that's going to be a bit griddo. We'll find out. Bin Salam Speed Cargo, say hello, say hello, hey! All the best, enjoy the, enjoy the traffic, bad traffic. Thank you. Right, what's this? Peaky Blinders Manchester, well, I know what this is. This is uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer, starred as a Birmingham gangster in 1920s Birmingham. Oppenheimer. Fucking hell. So what's interesting to note here on uh, Peter Street, because there's always massive crowds of revelers queuing to enter the uh, bars. Hello mate, how are you? All right. I'm getting, getting recognised by some lads, but the government's put these down to stop the car rammings of peace. Hey. Can you introduce these barriers? Why, why is the government put these barriers down here outside the night? And speak up, lady, speak up. No, 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 just wait no, 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 it is. Okay. No, it's just no, is it not to stop the car ramming? No, listen, listen. Go on, go on, go on. What? A bank. No, it's cure. Go on, I'll listen. I'll do. I think these barriers are here for the Not disrespecting Manchester, I've been here born and bred all my life, but. This will probably stop, like, you know, car crime going into, like, you know. Yeah. You know, people maybe stood outside. Go, drink, yeah. Drinking and all that. Yeah. People driving, you know, young ones, you know. I was thinking darker, like, people on purpose, on purpose with the ramming attacks. Yeah, yeah, so. Half the people in these bars and, and clubs and anything around here are drug dealers and. Are they? Fifty percent. Well, buddy. Ninety percent of them. Do you know what as well though? You can yeah, look go on. Both yeah. ways, can't you? Yeah. At the end of the day, someone can come out of here drunk, right? Yeah. Intoxicated. Come out of here. Oh, and fought stumble. Yeah. yeah. So just say the main road there. Yeah. The main. One at a time. One at a time, ladies. Someone can be drunk in there. Yeah. Someone can be drunk in there, intoxicated, comes out. Yeah. Not got like their own, you know. Um, I'm a nurse as well, you say. Oh, well, very good. Not, got, you. not got, got their own wits about, so yeah. to speak, drunk. Yeah. And just straight out to the middle of the road. Very true. So it uh, works before, both ways, isn't it? Yeah. So before, yeah. this could stop them, someone could grab them back. Yeah. They should go in the road, so it's like a good thing, it's a bad thing, really. Yeah. But I also think as well, are these here to save the police doing a bit of their work as well? Well, yeah, I mean, a concrete barrier, you'd have to pay it. it. It works all night, all day. But I just want to say, I see your friends are calling over. Pink Jacket Nurse, thank you for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Where's that going now? Uh, it, it might go out on the... Depends what I can do with it. Depends. No, but you won't do anything with it because it's hard to shit. No, you did very well. Thank you. All the best. You gotta love the fetching. Tweed waistcoats. Civilized. Very good. All right. Uh, me and the Deliveroo guy, we're winning. Look. Look at that. We're faster than all the cars. Look. Question is, what is causing this? I reckon. I reckon it's this policeman's fault over here. Wait, it's the armed police in the Volvo. They're holding it all up. Oh shit, I'm gonna get hit by a hit by the fucking. Oh, oh look, taxi man's getting mad. That's it, I agree, it's the bloody cop's fault. Let's see what's going on. Not much. But yeah, blame him. Look at look at all this gap here. Look at this gap who's left. <laughs> BMW man, he's had enough. He just wants to get out, but he's got na na chance. Oh, yeah, where's he gonna go? Into the back of the police car. Come on, Stavros. Bit of patience, mate. I know it's a bit hot in Athens right now. You gotta cool down. But why is the cop not going forward though? He's holding up everyone. Oh. When his boss watches this back, he's gonna say, Firearm Specialist Officer Murphy, what are you doing? That's a nice looking BMW, 330e. He's got no chance. No chance of getting through there. What's he doing? He's got no bloody chance, I told you. Oh no, he's gonna squeeze through. Oh, bit grippy, bit tight, but he's through. Well. I hope this cop's not coming this way. He's got no chance. He's gonna have to come down the bike lane. Look, he's gonna bike lane it. Yes. That's it, oh, there's no bicycles. Bike lane. Oh, he's gonna be screwed. Oh, no, he's, he's, no he's, he's, he's regretting his actions now. He'll figure it out. But it is a bit gritty. Big gr oh, no, and he's, now he's just stuck in traffic for life. All right, our closing shot from Manchester today. 
There's a new batch. They're all dressed like Barbie dolls. This isn't a, it's not a Barbie tie-in. It's again, of course, a silent disco to play us out here in Manchester. When I first saw these people, they're doing it's a raining man. Oh God, it's a gay anthem. Yeah. I saw them, I got the first batch, yeah. Here they are again. Sing it to the camera. Thank you. Oh yes, oh brilliant. <laughs> and that, that's goodbye from the ladies. Yeah, the big one from you, madam. Way. Thank you everyone for watching. That is Manchester on Saturday the 22nd of July. We'll see you on the next one.